Tonight, we're learning more about the victims and the murder of three people in Orlando. Among the dead, a nine-year-old girl and a news reporter. And now there's new body camera video showing the moment officers took down the suspect, even cutting a gun out of his pants. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more on this. Dick. Well, Maurice and Christine, three lives, among them a little girl, a third grader, making her parents proud by being a star student whose life really had just begun, and a young TV reporter whose career was about to take off. Both gone after an unfathomable burst of violence. Body cam video shows the police takedown of 19 year old Keith Melvin Moses, the suspected shooter in the murder of three people in Orlando. Police say he had a weapon on him. That gun was still hot to the touch, meaning it had just been fired. Moses is accused of killing a woman inside a car in this Orlando neighborhood, only to return hours later to shoot to death a nine year old girl, Tiana Major, and wound her mother. Gianna's father wrote tonight, she was everything to us. She was a great student at the top of her third grade class. And that little Tiana was an amazing gymnast. Police say the gunman also killed Spectrum News 13 reporter Dylan Lyons. Dylan and I got very, very close. Dylan was a very, very wholesome person. Um, like he, he had a great sense of humor too. Spectrum 13 photographer Jesse Walden spoke from his hospital bed where he recovers from a gunshot wound and remembered his partner. He had a very strong sense of justice. He would really want everyone to follow the rules when it came to people with power. Good morning to both of you. The career of the 24-year-old Lions was just getting started. School board chair Matt Susan. But this would be his last story. His fiance Casey Lynn tweeted, The love of my life was murdered. I will never be the same person ever again. It was almost sweet to a fault about her. Lyons was also remembered for his devotion to his family. Very close with his mom, too. I remember in different social media posts that he would put up how grateful and thankful he was for his mother. The amount of people that will miss him, I'm sure. I, I, I can't even come to fathom how many. Now, the photographer, Jesse Walden, says he'll be in the hospital another day or two, but then face months of recovery. The mother remains in critical condition. While police say the suspect knew the woman he shot to death in the car, it's not clear tonight why he targeted the news crew and the mother and daughter. Christine. Okay, Dick, thank you.